When Layer 2 released, something I was so excited about was, of course, monster mantras. There's an infinite amount. Like, you can just make any idea off of any monster? That's crazy. I'm not being biased because, well, my friend is the NPC inspiration that gives you these mantras, but monster mantras are one of the best ideas for content generation in all of Deepwoken. Well, first of all, adding more monster mantras incentivizes farming in different areas, fighting different mobs you wouldn't usually encounter, and it becomes an overall diverse experience. Instead of just doing Doing the same thing over and over and over again, different builds would spread out and go across the map to get what they need and, you know, there's different farming opportunities. As a player, that might seem boring to travel and farm different areas, but for game design, why wouldn't they want people to fight monsters and go to different places that they spent time working on? I mean, right now there's areas that are just wasted. I mean, who really says with a straight face, they farm Nightmare Threshers? Like, honestly, it's very optional. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I'll be sharing a few ideas about possible monster mantra moves that could be incorporated incorporated into Deep Vulcan Mantras itself, or just as a future oath. Huge shout out to Gun Chowda, a tester that came up with many of these, so thank you. We'll start off by going into the depths. The Crab, a Crustaceous Rex, is a very easy enemy with some very cool moves. One idea I have from this mob could be his command grab, which summons a giant crab hand to freeze your enemy, and that's awesome. Another option could be the slow moving bubbles, which could apply pressure and frost against your enemy. The King, Gigamed Jellyfish, everybody's favorite enemy, could drop one of its AoE moves, based basically a giant lightning attack or slam that would stun and push back. One of the most iconic enemies of all of Deep Woken, the Lionfish could provide a Cerro Beam or Blast, and honestly I would love this for all the different Bleach builds I do, so why don't they just add this? Squibbo, a very interesting enemy, has a move very similar to the Thunder Hero Blade crit, and when he stomps the floor, boom it sends somebody up. This move would be great to pick up, especially for builds that have a ton of knockback and want to push away. The Owl, this one is very easy to visualize, would either slash forward with a dash attack, and we'll call this one Owl Slash. This move could be the dash attack, the annoying iframe feather move, or even the drop kick grab thing. Honestly, Owls have the best moveset to draw from. The King Thresher has an exclusive breath attack that is only dodgeable and is pretty good for AoE range damage, and that's a perfect tool for players to pick up. The Nightmare Thresher, on the other hand, has a few new moves in comparison to the regular variants, and I think the Flame Breath could also work, and it's a cool pressure tool that, honestly, would be pretty sick. Maybe even enemies like the Widow or spider could drop a web slinging type of move that would immobilize targets just hey man i just saw that spider-man movie and i'm ready to make some builds so please 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 can we get this even enemies like the sand knight or snow knight could provide mantras like the viribus pillars that slam people around from the ground and it's a perfect idea and i'm surprised that it was not added as an iron sing move there is literally room for an infinite amount of monster mantras but there's a few more that i'll talk about just imagine the hive mech slam it hits the ground and block breaks placing down flames or plasma or whatever it is, that would be actually insane to use, like seriously, we need this. Who even goes to Primadon? Like they just reworked this area, it even drops that new rifle, but they need to add the James Harden step back rock throw. This has been like an idea in the community for a long time and we need this. The final idea is a bit goofy, but just think about it. We had some ideas for Mudskipper summoning to apply pressure and damage while you also attack. The elemental Mudskippers in Matrisa have special effects that we could totally harness and all I'm saying is these mantras could be so much fun to play in in a base game or a special oath. So I'm still confused, why are they not doing this? It's pretty easy content for them to get a huge payoff with build diversity and gameplay diversity. Anyway, those are my thoughts and leave your very own monster mantra ideas down below and I'll pass them along to the dev team. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe. As always, have a good one and it's punching time.